There are so many things that we could learn from the emergency medicine closed claim studies. For example, when it comes to stroke, the importance of rapid recognition and potential treatment for TPA is crucial, and you could develop systems to take care of that. In addition, we have so many more patients now who are on blood thinners, and bleeding complications can occur anywhere, including the epidural space, so we have to be cognizant of that. In emergency medicine, there's increasing numbers of physician assistants and nurse practitioners that are working, and many of them are given to do a lot of our procedures and wound care, and that is an area of risk that would require supervision in certain cases. And finally, looking at discharge instructions is very important. That's the final area of protection that physicians have in communicating the responsibilities and expectations that the patients have. When it comes to stroke, we looked at the claims studies and found that one of the claims is failure to give TPA or treatment for potential stroke. So what we've done across our entire hospital system is create a system where if you call 911 with a potential stroke, you're taking straight to the CAT scan without even stopping at an emergency department bed and expediting that care as we activate the entire stroke team. We are seeing so many more patients these days who are on blood thinners, and with that comes increasing number of bleeding complications. And we know bleeding can occur anywhere in the body. What we saw in the closed claim studies is finding bleeding in the epidural space with neurological complications. So the alert is anybody who's on any type of blood thinner with any presentation in the emergency department, we have to think of, can there be bleeding anywhere in the body? Many emergency departments are now hiring more physician assistants and nurse practitioners in the emergency department, including our own. And we delegate to them a lot of the procedures, especially wound care. One of the policies we started is that for any potential wound with a tendon injury, such as a hand, the back of the hand, those have to be explored by a physician before closing the wound. So any potential high-risk wound requires a physician supervision to explore the wound before it's closed. What we've learned uh, when it comes to closed claims is that patients also have a responsibility in their own well-being and in their health. And that's why it's important to communicate at the end with discharge instructions that tell patients when they should follow up, when they should return, how to take their medications. This last communication is important for the well-being and safety of the patient and gives the physician a last opportunity to answer any questions that the patients have and emphasize that responsibility.